All right, we have Galatians 5 and 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. You know that love is keeping up the commandments. Joy, the joy that Amar Shekhar Bashai said he's going to give us. Peace, he said, my peace I give to you, not of the world, but his peace. The world don't know his peace. The peace that Amar Shekhar Bashai said he's going to give us. You know, St. John 14 and 27. Special peace. He said, peace I leave with you. For my shekel of shy telling us this. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. See, that world again. What world? The world of Esau. This world that we in. He was in the world of Esau under the Romans. Not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your mind be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Because the Most High don't give us a spirit of fear. You got to be afraid of the Most High. Not of this world. That's that peace he's talking about. See? So, Galatians 5 and 22. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. It's love. It's joy. It's peace. It's long-suffering. Suffering a long time. Gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, humility, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Mashiachim, which every man should be teaching his congregation, his church, his camp, that we Mashiachim, he told us in 1 Corinthians 3.23, for ye are Mashiachim, we are the Messiahs, we are the anointeds. And Mashiach is the most highest. And they that are Mashiachim, so everybody's not Mashiachim because ain't nobody talking about it enough. Have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. You crucify it. Get rid of it. Disannul it from your life, period. If you live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. If you live in the spirit, when the book is open, you need everybody in the spirit. Only way you can walk in the spirit, that's when the book is closed. Now you got to apply the spirit in your life. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Hear that? Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Worthless glory. You say you in hell, but you want to be somebody in hell. So you want to be somebody working with Satan. It's his kingdom. He's the key to God of the air. He's the power of the air. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. We go there to Job 9.24 all the time. That's vainglory. Want to be somebody? Mashiach was shy. He made himself of no reputation. Philippians two and five. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who, being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High. I mean, he was the son of the Most High, but made himself of no reputation. What did he tell you here? Galatians 5, 26, let us not be desirous of vain glory. What am I saying? Shai? When he walked to earth, how was he? But made himself, Philippians 2 and 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men like every other man. And being found in fashion as a man, what did he do? He humbled himself. Just bobs and eyes of the most high. These are examples that we have so that you're not going in pride and thinking that you're going to make it to the kingdom. He humbled himself. He didn't have to humble himself. Like he told, he told the Romans, I could call down 12 legions of angels and take care of all of y'all. Wipe all of y'all out. But did he do it? No, he knew he came for a purpose. He served his purpose. He fulfilled what was supposed to be that was written of him within his body, his body, his precious blood being a sacrifice, his body being a sacrifice for the sins of the 12 tribes of Israel. So I said in Matthew 15, 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Acts 5, 30, 31. Him at the most I exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. 
But see here, this is my shackle shot. Philippians 2 and 7, but made himself of no reputation. So ain't no vain glory in this. Worthless glory in, the, in hell. Get out of here. He was in hell. Right here on this earth. Condition for Israel. That's why I say the kingdom. The, the, the kingdom it, says, it says the kingdom, the violent, the, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. That's a hellish condition. He was in. They put him to death. Who? The so-called white man, the Romans. Who was the superpower of the earth. They put him to death. Unjustly. Isn't that what's happening to us? Zechariah 11 and 5, who oppressed oppress, or slayed him. Excuse me, who oppressed or slayed him and hold himself not guilty. I mean, you think about it. Is anybody bringing those accusations against them? They killed him, Mashiach Yahushai, the one they said they believe in. They killed him. They ain't talking about that. They the ones killed him. Oh, no, the Jews gave up. Yeah, they did. Wicked Israelites gave over to him. They two-thirds. That's what I say. He said in, in 1 Corinthians 15, 22, they that don't love the Mashiach Yahushai, let them be an anathema of Maranatha. Let them be accursed. Straight up. And it's all written because they're cursed. Two-thirds of Israelites, two-thirds of the people, or the people that's, you know, not on the rim that the most high going to redeem of these other nations, they're cursed. That's what he says. Philippians 2 and 7, but made himself of no reputation. Ain't no vainglory in this. He didn't make himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being fashioned in a fashion as a man, he humbled himself. And became obedient unto death. You know? Obedient. That's what the Most High want us to be obedient. So you know, I'm not saying I don't have to go to the Most High and ask the Most High to forgive you for your sins if you're obedient. And don't think that you're all that. If you are obedient, Job was a perfect example. He said, look what he did to Job. He said, Satan on Job. Because Job drew the evil to him by thinking he was so righteous that he shouldn't be dealt with. Ain't none of us righteous that we ain't going to be dealt with. Most like so he loved him. He chastens. But he Shai humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So going back to Galatians 5 and 26. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Don't let us be desirous of vain glory. Provoking one another. Envying one another. You see? That's what he's not supposed to be doing. Provoking one another, envying one another. What you gonna envy somebody for? We in this all this battle together. Everybody got their own hell that they got to deal with in being in hell, being under these curses, being under the, the things that the Most High said we're going to go through, trying to make it to the kingdom, trying to make our names in the eyes of the Most High and the Master of the Angels be written in the book of life, point blank. And with that, I'm going to stop right there. We're going to continue on this because it's a very hype topic that I feel that everybody needs to look into and... Giving all praise and glory to the Most High in His Word of the Mashiach of Shai for us being Mashiachim, being able to be His, and Him being the Most High's, and no man coming to the Father but by Him. And He's speaking concerning those that had only the Law and the Prophets. Some don't believe, so they're going to be Anamatha, Maranatha, cursed until this day, until the end. But hopefully you'll repent and come out of that and really see the Spirit that's bringing forth and springing forth. And with that, I say Shalom and I'm out.